Hello guys, Deadly Snipers 115 is the famous YouTube celebrity and today I'm going to be talking about, um, I'm not really going to be talking about but I'm going to teach you guys how to get an open NAT type. If you don't know what NAT is, it's basically like, um, it's another, it's another f word for like how good or how bad your internet is, just like in a few words for like, for router terms and stuff like that, it's a uh, type 2 and type 1. Type 1 is the best one you can have if you have fast internet, but type 2 it's like the worst one you can have, but that means you have slow internet, which is, in my in my case, I have slow internet, AT&T Universe, and, dang, oh yeah, um, uh, type, wait a And if you play multiplayer games, you'll see the NAT type, and um, the three NAT types are open, moderate, and strict. Strict is the worst one you have because it's basically saying that like, uh, how can I say this? It's been, let me give an example of school. It's pretty much saying that you're being held in a class with lots of bad kids. And therefore, it gives you a worse experience of your life. <laughs> so basically, like, you only get put into lobbies. Well, in game terms, you only get put into lobbies that, like, are really bad and laggy. So that's bad. <laughs> but that's only if you have, like, really bad internet, I'm guessing. And moderate is very common. It's uh, pretty much saying, like, like, hmm, we can't really determine the speed of your internet. Well, we can, but it's kind of bad. So we're just gonna put you in good lobbies and some bad lobbies. It'll be, it's pretty much unpredictable to know that if you're gonna be in the bad one or the good one. So moderate is like 50-50, but I, just, I still don't like it. And open obviously is like, you could join any single lobby. It's like, it's like high school. You could pick any of your classes. <laughs> All right, and moving on. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to change your NAT type to open if you're playing Call of Duty games. I don't play Call of Duty games at all, but I just, I used to, but I stopped. But I'm just making this video for educational purposes only, so yeah. And this is on the AT&T NVG 510 router, U-verse. So, yeah, let's move on to the computer. And... For you AT&T people, or well, AT&T Uverse people, uh, this is the same uh, IP address, not really IP address, but router address that you can uh, access for your router settings. And this is the, I got a lot of tabs open. Here. Alright, there we go. 192.168.1254. So, if you plan to hack in my IP address, then uh, you're dumb. Because that's not my IP address. It's just for the. It's, it's pretty much like a computer's BIOS. It's different for. Well, no, it's not really different, but it's, it's really common for most people. Like, F10 is to open a BIOS on a computer, so. Yeah, this this is basically just like the code for AT and T people, and so this is obviously how you access the web page. And what you're gonna want to do after that is you're gonna want to, um, well by default is gonna bring you to device. Well, that's random. Uh, has added you to his friends list, something like that. All right, moving on to topics. It's going to bring you to the device by default, so you're going to want to go to firewall. Then, on your router, it's going to end up like having a special... I don't really want to show the back, but it's going to... Well, inside, but it's going to it's going to have like a special code. And you're going to want to type that code in. It's going to say access code required. Please type your code and just type it and it's going to bring you to a firewall and then go to IP pass through then you're gonna want to type in your IP address for Xbox PS3 or um or your computer for your computer all you do is just go to what is my IP address.com something like that it's very easy for computers 
And for Xbox, it's, I don't know, I'm guessing it's in system settings. And in PS3, which is what I got, um... All you do is just, uh, whoops, let me out of focus this. Alright. You just go to the settings, system settings, and I can't really do it right now, but... You go system settings, and then scroll down to, like, the last second one, and it's gonna say, um... Uh, system info then it'll show your IP address but make sure nobody from the internet knows that IP address because they will like do serious stuff with your IP address just saying guys because if you're like a little kid that doesn't really know anything about IP addresses then let me, let me, let me leave it like this an IP address is basically like a number but instead it's a number for um it's a number for Dang it. It's a number for your router. It's pretty, it, let me give an example. It's like your phone number. Whoever has your phone, er, phone number can call it or spam it or anything like that. They could prank call you, stuff like that, and I'm pretty sure you don't want that. And with internet, it's worse. They can DDoS you, which means that they can send packets to your router. And so that makes your connection extra laggy. And you'll probably have like a thousand ping and like 0 0.50 download speed it's like having a broad you know it's uh dial up dial up connection it'll be that slow it'll take like five minutes to load a web page so be careful with that guys all right all right so yeah as you can tell my thing is on moderate <laughs> and uh i'm about to type my I ps3 ip address so give me um yeah, I want you. I want. I, don't, I want you guys to believe me. All right, let me type my thing in, and let me click save. All right, I typed it. Changes saved. Dang it! Let me autofocus this. It's so hard to do everything with one hand. Changes saved. And now, an MW3 is not gonna. It's not gonna update right away, as you can tell. But, um. You have to actually let me, go, let me try going to the main menu and doing this. Come on already. Oh boy, I got a friend request from Steam. Oh boy. I'm just looking at my Steam. Some random dude added me. I like when random people add me. Cause like, I don't know them. I don't know them, but then like they know me and it's pretty cool. I don't know why, but like, respect. Oh yeah. And there you go. Your NAT is now open. And I was recording this all in real time, so you can't say that I'll edit this this or something. So anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't exit yet. I'm just gonna tell you something. Um, by doing this IP pass through, um, sometimes, sometimes, only well, like one time. Uh, your internet's gonna go out, maybe. And then, you're isn't you're not gonna be able to reconnect to the internet for like thirty minutes. But uh, that was probably in my case since I always upload videos and stuff. So you guys probably don't have to worry about that. But um, just know that if your internet goes out for like thirty minutes, then uh, it's it's not your fault. It's probably AT and T's fault, or it's just I don't know, or you're gaming late at night because. Every some time when I game super late at night, like at 12 o'clock, midnight, then for some reason my uh, connection goes out for no apparent reason. Then uh, it doesn't work at all. I do a system diagnostics, well, router diagnostics, and nothing ever works. And it says like failed, failed. But then when I turn my computer off and then I like start sleeping and then I turn my iPod on then I I go on Safari or YouTube then guess what and then it comes back on then I'm just so mad because 
I like did all that for nothing. I turned my computer off, did a system diagnostic. So if your if your internet ever goes out like that, then probably turn off your computer, then turn it back on. I always never. I don't really ever think that it does anything, but it actually kind of does, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> and anyway, um, this won't do anything to your router. It's uh like harm free, so it won't really break it or anything like that it's all safe because deadly snipers will never mess around with you guys he's the best person on earth you know i know him for a matter of fact he's a good guy <laughs> well anyway uh hope you guys yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and if if you're one of the victims that happened that had the moderate nat then be sure to like this video and comment down below thank you so much and blah 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 and yeah, I'll see you never.